Good morning, Marinci First. We made it. I am super excited that we are coming back together this Sunday. We are going to be together. Can you believe it? It's been too long. I've missed every one of you so much, and I can't wait to see you. I just had a couple things I wanted to share with you that uh, the Lord has laid upon my heart and also some guidelines. So please hang out with me for just a couple of minutes. I promise I'll be brief uh, if you can believe that. Anyway, I am just super excited. I explained to you what I think about Passover and what the Lord dropped into my heart about Passover, how this was a real Passover, how God was teaching us how to shelter in place in the blood of Jesus, under the blood of Jesus, because if we shelter in place, we can withstand anything the enemy throws at us anything the world throws at us we are safe God has us so God has this I love it so I felt in my spirit that this was going to be a real Passover but I also at the same time the Lord spoke to my heart that this is going to be a real Pentecost as well so uh, we've passed the Passover part and now we're getting ready to step into Pentecost uh, the last Sunday of this month is Pentecost Sunday and, and I can I just tell you I am overwhelmed with excitement I really believe that God's going to do some amazing things. Uh, he's going to pour His Spirit out upon all flesh. I believe we're stepping into the third great awakening. I believe that those that uh, need a miracle, they're about to happen. God is going to heal. He's going to deliver. He's going to set us free. Uh, if you don't know what Pentecost Sunday is, that's okay. I'm going to be talking about it. I'm going to be teaching on it. Just hang in there. Well, we are your church and uh, your family, and we're going to get through this together. But all I will tell you right now, all you have to know is that God is getting ready to have communion with us. He's getting ready to meet with us, and we are getting ready to be in His presence. Can you imagine being in the presence of Jesus? I, I can't wait. Pentecost Sunday, last Sunday of this month, but this Sunday, oh man, we have a lot of things planned. Uh, first of all, there's so much energy built up. There's so much passion built up. And most importantly, Jesus is going to be in the house because two or more, guess what? Let me say that again. Two and more will be gathered. Not just me and a camera and a couple of us. There will be all of us. Oh, man. So it's going to be awesome. Well, let me give you a couple of highlights, a couple of things that we have to do, and a couple of things that we have done as your church to keep you safe, because we want you to feel safe to return. We want you to know that we are taking measures, that we are following guidelines, that we are doing everything within our power to make it a safe environment. But we know that this is the time for the church to come back together and for us to seek the Lord and to do what he has called us to do. So here we go. Are you ready? Hang in there. All right. First and foremost, we will have a special section called the Senior Section, High Risk Section. Now, by no means are we requiring anyone to sit in this section, but... If you are of the senior age or you are high risk, we will have a special place for just you. You won't have to worry about other people invading your space. Um, we have our ushers, our hospitality team will show you to that section and you will be able to sit there by yourself. Once again, we are not requiring anybody to, but we have it available if you feel like that is a good place for you. We want you to feel safe. And on top of that, we will have hand sanitizing machines. They will be around, uh, so you will be able to sanitize your hands. You'll be able to sanitize, just pour it on you, whatever you want to do. But they will be available, so uh, hand sanitizing machines. Also, we are going through the entire sanctuary, entire church, the nursery, everything will be sanitized. So your church will be sanitized. We are even doing the carpets, so uh, it's going to be awesome. The other thing that we're asking is um, those that you can wear a mask, we're asking you to wear a mask. And um, this will make people feel better, feel safe. So uh, if you don't have a mask, let us know. We have some extras coming. But on top of that, uh, we're just going to have a good time. All right, here's a big one. I know it's going to break your heart, breaks my heart. Let's cry for a minute. Here it is, drum roll please. We are asking everybody for the next two weeks, only two weeks, but two weeks, to please refrain from hugging one another. I know, I know, I know, that's tough, but we have to do it. So here's the deal, you can handshake, you can fist bump, you can elbow bump, you can toe touch, you can do whatever you want to do. We're just asking that everybody will please, to the best of your ability, remain from hugging one another for two weeks. All right. The other thing is, is we have to start with Sunday morning only. I know that's rough. We want to get our back to our ministries, but uh, we have to do Sunday morning only. So keep that in mind. There will be no Sunday school. 
and then after two weeks we will start slowly introducing our ministries back but hang in there we're almost there this is a great big step the next thing is and I know sorry Vanessa but here we are let me just break your heart we will not be having coffee and donuts for two weeks only two weeks but yes two weeks no coffee no donuts so sorry but um, that's just the way it has to be so um, I tell you what we'll have uh, imaginary donuts we'll, we'll I don't know anyway hang out we'll have a good time also here's another big thing is is we're not going to be passing the offering plates uh, we will have an offering station where we will take offering so bring your tithe bring your offering but we will have a designated place where you can go up to it pay your tithe and offering we will not be passing the offering plates so uh, that is to keep you safe also, there will be some things that we have around the altars for altar safety, so you will be able to pray at the end of the service or let the Lord move and lead, and we have a couple things there. All right, so here's uh, nursery, moving on to nursery. Um, first, please don't take this offensive, but uh, one thing that we have to do by guidelines, we are not able or not allowed to have any seniors as workers in the nursery for the next two weeks. So we will not have seniors working in the nursery for two weeks. Um, so that is not only for security for them, safety for them, uh, but seniors are more at high risk. So uh, there will be no seniors in the nursery for two weeks. Also, all of the workers of the nursery will be required to wear a mask. They will have to wear a mask. So those around your children, will have a mask on on top of that we are keeping to the no more than 10 rule in the nursery so it is going to be a first come first serve so i'm sorry to say that but we have to limit the nursery to 10 kids only so uh if you show up and there's already 10 in there uh, you'll just have to keep them with you that's okay uh, it won't be the first time we've had kids in service and uh, you know what uh, we love our children so we're not worried about it but uh the first 10 will be allowed in the nursery, okay? Also, uh, here's a big one. We have and will be sanitizing. The nursery has already been gone over, but it will be gone over Saturday. We'll be sanitizing the entire nursery. There'll be hand sanitizer available. So not only will the whole nursery toys and all be already sanitized, but there'll be hand sanitizer in there. And uh, so that will help you. Also, uh, your children, uh, wear a mask uh, they, they can wear a mask we will have extra masks so uh, we can fit our kids with masks if need be now children's church children's church will basically be the same guidelines as nursery except the only difference in children's church will be this children's church will not have a cap as far as numbers what they will do is they will be groups of ten so uh, once 10 students are in children's church they will be one group and then another 10 students uh, will be another group so and we will still have children's church uh, there won't be regulations or, or stipulations of how many are in the building of children's church but we'll, we'll have groups of 10 only uh, also again all workers will be required to wear a mask everything will be sanitized there will be sanitizer available and um, your kids wear a mask uh, it'll be fine um, so there, there will be some things in place but the rest of the nursery regulations will apply to children's church except instead of only being 10 only there will just be groups of 10 so uh, we, we have put a lot of things in place to keep you safe I've been in a lot of meetings uh, I've talked to those above me etc etc now, I, I know that everybody has their own different feelings, their own different opinions. Some believe we should have opened weeks ago. Some believe, hey, we need to wait months from now. So there's no right answer in this. All we can do is do what we've been told, do what we've been required, and just follow the leading of the Lord. But I believe that God is going to pour His Spirit out upon us. I believe that great days are ahead. Marinzi First is primed for revival. We are primed to see God do amazing things. We are primed for God's deliverance, for His compassion. I know that there are those that have been dealing with fear, and there's those that have been dealing with a lot of stuff. And you know what? There is safety and security in numbers. We are coming back together. 
we are praying together, we will be together, and I promise you that something is going to happen. This is going to be a true Pentecost. I am asking you right now as your pastor to join me in prayer as we pray for the next three weeks for something amazing to happen the last Sunday of this month, but I believe something amazing is going to happen every Sunday. Come this Sunday, there's a lot of things planned, a lot of things in place for you. We are going to have a great time together. And uh, just know we love you. We're in your corner. We're here for you. Uh, the other good thing is, is our live stream will continue. So if you can't make it for whatever reason, you will be able to watch us online. All of our Mercy First family online that's around the world watching, we are so glad to have you. You are a part of us. We love you. And we are here. If you have prayer requests, send in your prayer request. If you have a need, send in your needs. And uh, we will pray with you. We will stand with you. And you will be able to continue to watch from where you are and see what God is doing. Because you know what? Distance is no barrier with Jesus. So great things are in store. Remember, you belong here. Welcome home. We're Marinci First Proud. Love you so much. Bless you. And I will see you Sunday. We've made it. Love you. Bye -bye.